Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to take your standard villager church and I'll show you how to turn it into a church of the future. Today, this is what your village church will look like once it has been given a modern twist. Once again, please do note that we are not trying to change these buildings beyond recognition. We want to keep as much of the base structure as possible and maintain their individuality and recognition as you would have with the original version. And the inside has also been modernized a little bit to actually give much more of a churchy feel. If you would like to see this series continue, please do remember to hit that like button as it really does help me and the channel out very, very much. And not only that, if you would like to see another transformation, leave a comment down below. As you can see, we're getting to the point where we have modernized a lot of the village. I want to know what's next. And of course, if you do want to transform any other structures, check out the card system and the description below for the Modern Village playlist. It looks exactly like what you can see on screen. But without any further ado, ladies and gents, let's get started. Before we begin, I can tell you that to transform the church, we will require every single one of the materials that you can see in my hotbar and inventory right now. Please make sure you have access to every single one of these as we will need every single one. And not only that, but we will also need a village church. You should be able to find one of these. They are in almost every single village and they are extremely easy to identify. No other building looks even remotely like this one. So once you have all that sorted out, ladies and gents, let's get started. So the first step is very simple. On the left and right of the building, you will find a small window towards the back of the build. I want you to destroy below that window and then Towards the front of the build, I want you to destroy a double wide space in front of the window. And I want you to do the same on both sides. So on this opposite side below, and then coming towards the front, a double wide gap like this. On the back of the build, you will also find a single window towards the bottom. I want you to make that bigger by destroying underneath. Grab your blue stained glass pane and replace all of the window panes with blue glass. This also includes all of the empty spaces that you have now created, making the windows larger. You will find windows on almost every single side of the church, including the back and the front. So do make sure that you replace all of them with the blue glass. Once you have accomplished that, the next thing we have to do is a bit more arduous. On the left and right sides of the build, I want you to destroy the row of cobblestone that connects the window area down to the ground. I then want you to take this entire shape, which is a very cool shape made out of cobblestone, and I want you to destroy it and replace it using grey concrete. So you are essentially reskinning this particular part of the building by simply taking every single cobblestone block except for the ones that were on the ground and you are replacing them with grey concrete. This has to be done on both the left side of the build and also the right side of the build. This may take some time. Thank you. 
each side should look exactly like this, and once you have done one, flip over to the other side to do the same. I'm just going to remind you to delete the first initial row of cobblestone down at the bottom of the church, and then you can proceed to reskin the cobblestone into grey concrete. Just like this. Now, once you have completed this part of the build, the next part of the build is quite simple. We want to now take the back part of the church, and we want to destroy all of the cobblestone on the back part of the church, and we want to replace that cobblestone with white concrete. Very similar to what we have just done on both sides of the build, except we are using white concrete instead of the cobblestone, like this. And we want to also extend the white concrete upwards a row on the back, whereas before there was a gap here. And I want you to continue destroying the cobblestone of the church on the top of the build, coming up towards the back part of the tower. All of this must be destroyed. And as a side note, a small difference on the top back part of the church, here, I have actually included a window in the top of this part using blue stained glass block instead of just completely filling it up with white concrete. I thought it was a good time to put in a skylight. But continue to destroy around everywhere else and replace all cobblestone found using white concrete like this. And also, underneath the window you might want to destroy that too, although we might have to change that later. And do be careful that blocks on the side are also destroyed and replaced. The end result should look like this. Once you've done that, I want you to take the lower parts of the church, where the cobblestones sit underneath the windows, and I want you to destroy that cobblestone also, and replace it with white concrete. This will give a very cool contrast between the grey concrete and the white concrete that we are placing, and we also create a very cool level of depth here as well. Now this leaves only the front of the church, and you may have guessed what's going to happen. We are going to delete all of the cobblestone, and once more we are going to replace it using white concrete. Once this has been done, a large portion of the exterior of the church will, will have been complete, and from there we can move on to the inside. This is what the end result should be. The next thing I want you to do is replace the cobblestone stairs at the base of the build using a quartz stairs. We're going to place a white concrete left and right of the stair. On top of the white concrete place two glass pane coming upwards from each. With a row of quartz slab coming across the top to create a doorway. We're now going to work our way inside of the church, and we are going to destroy the central strip of cobblestone that still remains, and all cobblestone that we can find in the lower part of the church. Like this. So it's nice and empty. 
I'm then going to place a strip of grey concrete that leads from the entrance all the way to the back part of the church. I'm also going to place a pressure plate behind this quartz stair here towards the front of the church. And once inside, I'm going to place a backwards, uh, a, once inside, I'm going to place an, uh, an iron door behind the pressure plate that will allow us to open the actual door itself. And as close as possible to that door, place an additional iron pressure plate so that we can walk in and out nice and freely. Once you have made it so that we can walk in and out, we have to create a small platform at the back of the church. The small platform is only three blocks long. Underneath the window at the back of the church, place three grey concrete. One, two, three. Place a quartz stairs left and right of the grey concrete with white concrete left and right of the grey. I want you to place birch fence in the back two corners of the church, like this. And I also want you to use quartz stairs. Place quartz stairs either side of the iron door towards the front of the church, leave a gap of one and place an additional stair. And use weighted pressure plates, or iron pressure plates, however you want to say, running up the centre part of the church, it creates kind of like a cool effect. Before we continue, we will need different materials to make the rest of the inside of the church. Let me grab them. These are the materials that we will be needing. Ladders, end rods, enchantment tables, never star, item frame, paintings, more white concrete, more grey concrete, and some torches as well. Make sure that you have all of those, even pause the video if you have to. Next thing we want to do is place an enchantment table on the outer grey concrete next to the stairs. We're also going to place end rods on top of the birch fence at the back of the church as they look like candles and they really do just fit the mood. Something else that fits the mood is an item frame with a never star in it at the top middle back of the church. What we also have to do is we have to remove the cobblestone roof still present inside of the church. So once that has been removed, we want to replace it with either white concrete or perhaps grey concrete. We only have to come as far as the actual cobblestone did. Or maybe it will even come one row further here, all the way up to where the lectern is, which is what uh, the enchantment table is representing. To get up into the second story of the church, we're going to have to remove the front right corner quartz stair. Place a row of ladders leading up from the quartz stair, where it was, and destroy up into the ceiling. Continue placing a row of ladders upwards as you get up into the roof, like this. I'm going to destroy the cobblestone that is right at the top of the building and I'll replace it with grey concrete, just as it contrasts the lower floor. The lower floor's white, I figure some grey concrete might look uh, quite good. When it comes to this small room here, we're going to use some more different materials. Stuff like this, bed, end chest, paintings, item frames, torches, shulker boxes, stuff like this. If you need to, pause the video. So, in here I'm simply going to place a bed, I'm also going to place some storage in the form of shulker boxes just around the bed, um, I'm also going to place a little bit of light on the wall in the form of a torch, and I'm also going to place a painting on the wall. So, I think you can place... No, you can't place paintings next to shulker boxes. I'm specifically looking for the white one that has the figure of a man in it. So, once you've decorated this room a little bit, you don't even have to bother with this point if you don't want to. All I'm going to do is, on the roof, I'm going to place an end chest right on the roof, just in the middle towards the front, as it's a nice little easter egg for anybody that might want to actually climb up the church. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the actual church itself complete. This is what the outside of your church should look like once it has been fully completed. 
As you can see, it now fits in very well with all of the other village transformations and it really does look nice and modern. I think that the old shape of the church really complemented it very, very well in making a nice modern church. Not that much has been changed. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me to know if you guys actually enjoyed this series. I really love making these videos and I'd love it if you guys let me know what you think about them. So please, hit that like button and share the video with a friend if you have enjoyed this video. Sharing is caring. If you would like to keep up to date with the rest of the modern village, I would highly recommend subscribing to the channel. Hit that subscription button and click the little bell and turn on notifications. That way, you'll be able to participate in the polls that allow me to figure out what I'm going to be making next, and you'll know as soon as the videos get released. So, if you would also like to leave a comment, let me know what to make next as well, as I don't only just go by the poll, I also go by what people comment down below. And if you would like to check out all of the other village transformations, so far, we have converted the village library. You can actually get a cool side-by-side -side right there. We have also converted the village blacksmith. That was the first transformation and still one of my favorites. And last but not least, other than the church, we have also converted the large villager house into a modern house as well. All of these can be found in both the card system and the description below you'll be able to find them in the Modern Villager playlist. Very, very easy to find indeed. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. I really do appreciate you. Much love to you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!